Okay, so what's up everyone? Today I'll be the Nintendo or comparing the Nintendo Switches light and standard. Uh, I just picked up a light for my sister at uh, Fred Meyer's at my local one. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. So let's get started. This is the uh, light in the Animal Crossing case. Okay, bring it in. And that's the uh, standard one. Let's get started. Let's open it up. Okay, this is one. I had this for a while now. Just by like a few months ago. As you can see, it has detachable Joy-Cons. Let me just, and my little trust partner, Cecilia, is gonna be holding the can. Hold it. As you can see, this Nintendo Switch, uh, you can hook it up to the TV and dock it on the docking station, which I will show you later about the standard accessories. As you can see, I have a couple of games installed already, so uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Now here's the detaching Joy-Con. Joy-Con 1. Yeah, you press the button and then hold it up. These are the uh, Joy-Cons. And to easy custom back on, they make the switch snap. Or I'd like to call it the switch sound, whatever it's called. Okay, now we have the uh, snappers I like to call. Uh, these are for when you're probably playing just dance or something. I like to use them when I'm playing Smash Bros. Uh, Smash Bros. has two people, but you can obviously use them with up to six or four, I think. Anyway, here is the uh, controllers. Let me put those ones in the case. Put them back in. And it just has a really nice uh, thing, you know? Now, how uh, you need to have a Nintendo account to go to the eShop. The eShop has a lot of uh, good items. Oh, and it's also available on the Switch Lite too, which we'll be getting into. Do -do -do -do. I made that up. This is the Switch Lite. The case comes with a uh, fish bone opener. It has a different sound. Okay. So, uh, I say we give one point to the standard Switch and one point for the Switch Lite. Because uh, the Switch Lite case has a uh, card holder. And it's just more bigger in size. And let's get started with the light. This is my sister's light. She just got it yesterday. So, um, she only has Fortnite because she wanted to play with me. Yeah, we'll be doing streams one day. So, uh, yeah. Comes with, um, uh, Nintendo eShop. And it comes with... And uh, it's black, the setup. Unlike mine, it's white and uh, it comes with online. Standard one does too. eShop offers a bunch of games. Same noises, but as you can see, there are major differences. There is no kickstand. There is, they don't have detachable Joy-Cons. The buttons are white. And you can't, um, like, and it's more easier to sticker bomb. 
that is one thing I like most about the light. Oh, and they're really uh, cheap. Uh, since they're so small, they could basically fit anywhere. Except here, of course. Okay, let's put that one back in its little uh, thing or whatever. Or case. So, um, as you can see, they are both really good consoles. Recommend buying if you don't have the money for an Xbox Series X or PS5. Um, these are really good consoles. And I will do them both together out of their case. Drum roll, please. Done. Drum roll, please. See, it's about 40% uh, smaller, I would say, than the actual one. As, like I said, it's black. Same main setup. Let's see what it sounds like all together. Anyway, they are both really good consoles. I recommend buying if you're in a 2021 because mm, there's not much to do in your house. But anyway, you can uh, just hook these up to the TV and play with the entire family or something. Or you can invite friends over and uh, actually, no, don't do that. And just play. You can also do this and play like this. Or you can play single player or handheld mode. It's really up to you. These are really good in airplanes and road trips. Wait. Bye, that is all for today's video. Bye. What? You guys are still watching this video? Well, anyway, I'm gonna show you about those cool features that showed you. I was gonna tell you where they are. So you have your switch here, have your controller here. Good. You're gonna turn on your TV to dock it. It's gonna go to your input. I like mine is uh, Xbox, Nintendo, or HDMI one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever. Next, we're gonna get it on. Wait for it to turn. Oh wait, we're gonna turn on your Nintendo Switch now. Put it on. Wait till the glowing mark shows up on the TV icon. Great. Now your Nintendo Switch is here. Now we're gonna take the Joy Cons off. As you can see, we're gonna put them on to here. Let me show you how it works. whatever you have with this little controller. I like watching some YouTube videos often and I like playing some Fortnite. Anyway, that's the end of the video if you guys are still watching. Now go on, move to another video. I have more editing to do.